Yo, just smash play. What's going on, family, man? This is your boy, Trap Vision 3D, man. If you are here, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for uh, attending this here premiere, man. I appreciate you guys greatly. All right, so today, man, uh, you already know we're about to get into a watch, man. Uh, I, I have to say, before I even get started, I have had this watch on literally. You can ask my wife in the comment section. I've had this watch on literally for like four days, and I have yet to take it off. To you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, just to try on other watches and stuff like that. But I have worn this watch. Um, I really dig this watch, man. Uh, this is a pro diver. It's made out of tungsten. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty heavy watch, man. Ever since I had it, I just like looking down at the dial. It's phenomenal. We'll talk about it next week. But today, today, y'all, today, we're going to um, get into a watch that, you know what I'm saying, I've been searching for for a long time. But Ed fixed me up with this nice little intro, so let me play that, man. I love this one. Yes. Thank you, Ed, again. Um... And Ed is such a phenomenal piece to the whole watch, like, experience, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know who I'm talking about, if you fancy Tommy Big Time, his intros, and then John Gang Gang Gangy, his intro, like, his cutscene and all that, yeah, that's an Ad production, you know what I mean? All right, so, man, let's get into the watch, y'all. Let's get into the watch. I mean, I know what y'all came here for, right? Today, I am going to show you model number 29210, and that's this bad boy right here. Ooh, that came in perfect. Now, it is not set for the actual time or date, all right? I didn't have it running. I didn't set or anything like that, um, but it is an automatic movement, and it has a Salida movement in it, Salida movement. So, let me give you a, let me just take you around, so I'm going to let you look at it. Boom, 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 boom. And those do up there, the, the hour markers are diamond. The hour markers are diamond. You can see the back of it, man. Uh, before we get into some, like, deeper looks at this, man, you have to know what's going on with this. Now, for those of you guys that have no clue as to, you know, like, hey, there may be a nice watch. Some may not like it, but um, this thing is powered by a Salida movement, right? And it's Swiss-made, right? It's a Swiss-made watch. And this part of Invictus Heritage, and that's what it's called, the Heritage, uh, it just takes, you know, stainless steel, polishes it up. There's no brush finishings on this. It's high polished all the way around. And um, it's like to me, when I found out about this watch, when I first saw this watch, uh, I know that Invicta has different lines. They have, like, their different labels. You know, uh, they have, like, their core five watches, you know, um, that really launched the brand off since what the 90s early 90s uh but when you're talking heritage you're talking swiss made you're talking uh the best materials and it's signed on the back by al which i'll show you here shortly um now the mystery of this watch <laughs> for me like the the prestige of this watch was Seeing everybody else's comments and how other people were reacting to this watch, and it made me think, like, okay. It's almost like standing in a crowd, and somebody was like, hey, uh, there's a, a popular band coming. He's like, okay, who's the band? Who's the band? Who, what, what are we talking about here? So you want to be, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to at least get to see who it is, and then when you finally get to see the band, you're like, oh, wait a minute. This band's nice. And uh, I got a chance to see this watch on a cruise, and I said, you know what? I'm a, I'll get it. Now there are different variations. I think the only heritage piece in Victor's lineup that is, uh, and I can't. Okay, I had to go and look for myself because I know that there were some other heritage pieces in uh, in Victor's lineup, and the one heritage I was familiar with was there was a black. Uh, it was actually a black pro diver. It was similar to this. It had diamonds and stuff in it. And uh, I want to say it was a 47 millimeter in the Salida movement. I couldn't find that picture. However, I did find this Lupa. And then they had, you know, this, you know, which is sold out, of course, uh, that Pro Diver. Now, here's the crazy thing. That Lupa is quartz. It's battery operated. It's a 5040D, I believe. And the um, the Pro Diver is actually an R150. And from my understanding, 
Invicta was making these heritage pieces in the Salida movement. Now, what did I know about the Salida movement? Well, when I first heard about it, all I know was Swiss made. And, you know, I asked the question. I was like, what does that mean? I promise. I was like, what? I, I said, what is, what's the importance of, you know, being Swiss made versus what I'm used to? Which, you know, uh, I had some automatic, some, uh, some no name movements that were automatic. I just shook the watch and it just, I knew it just ran. That was me. That's still me to a certain extent, you know, because I really don't get, you know, too hype about it. But, you know, seeing that I am into watches now, which. I actually went to my local library and picked this book up, right? And it's uh, just talking about some significant watches, man. Some interesting reads in here. Uh, it actually just referenced uh, some of the most important watches in history, you know, uh, I'm learning a lot with this, man. So it's like taking me down this rabbit hole. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually looking at, uh, the, the, uh, urban gentry. He mentions urban, the urban gentry makes mentions of, uh, some watches. If you are interested in learning about the movements, the, all the decorative, uh, things that watchmakers have done over the course of time. And that really kind of adds to this or could it take away, you know, but, Let's dive in a little deeper into what this watch is and what it's not. So this piece up close. So check check this out, y'all. Almost dropped it. <laughs> so this is the Sabakwa Noma 3. And you can tell by the rider tabs. So you got one, two, three tabs on the actual um, bezel, which is 120 click. Here, I'll let you see that. Absolutely love doing that. Now, what drew me to this watch was literally the actual, uh, the crown. As you can see, the crown has Invicta in it, but it was so industrial. You know, you actually take that. I was like, okay, that, that's, I've never seen that tight. And it's just friction plated, you snap it down. But this is actually a screw down crown where you can literally, it has hacking, but you can literally wind your watch or you can give it a shake and bring it back to life, which I did today for the purpose of this video. Uh, you do have the date window. Now, the Salida movement that's running is the Salida 200. There are four phases of the Salida movements. And Invicta, of course, you know, it, it, it has to be an affordable option because that's what Invicta really is. Now, Invicta, they make a lot of wild styles. They make a lot of crazy watches. But let's not forget that Invicta, when, when it was created back in 1837, I believe, um, it was made that people can actually afford a Swiss timepiece because, you know, through history, you know, these watches were expensive. And everybody can't afford these, you know, these watches. And I know when this came out, uh, I wasn't in the position to actually buy it, so... I just kind of marveled from a distance and just said, you know, one day I'll get it. And I kind of focused on other watches. Uh, however, now that I have it in my collection, uh, my overall thoughts is, you know, I like the fact that, okay, Sabakwa is defined as water driving. The Noma is actually, because like I said, it's Sabakwa Noma, right? The Noma is actually AL's daughter's, uh, like his kids' abbreviations. You know what I'm saying? I believe he has four kids. And that's the, you know, abbreviation of their names. The first uh, initial uh, of their uh, name. So, of course, this has to be his crown jewel of Invicta right now. As far as, you know, having like a favorite brand or favorite line within his, uh, his catalog. Now, the only thing that I despise about this here, let's get a closer look at this real quick. This is what I despise about the watch. That ink, you see that? After, you know, me wearing this watch, because I'm going to wear it, you know, I've, I've rocked this watch a little bit since I've had it, that rubs off, you know, so I would literally have to take this case back or send my watch off to have a, a jeweler etch all of that stuff in, the number limited, where it was made and stuff like that, um, now that's cool that AL signs the back of it, 
you know, you got the exhibition case back, you see the rotor and stuff like that, main screen, you see everything moving. But that was the one thing that I'm like, ah, ah, that's like a pet peeve of mine, you know, because I feel like if you start a watch, which what draws you in, for me, high polish, and then you have the diamonds, and then the dial is a Gale Shade style dial. And of course the date. I like you know having a date function on the watch. I always thought that was important uh, on the watch. Uh, but then you know you you get the, the elements of what would be a water dragon and the texture and the actual design will kind of make you, you know, kind of it's essence of a, a reptile, like a reptilian animal or something like that. And then you have all these different screws and stuff in it, man, it makes it like industrial. To me, it kind of it's like, all right, man, this is a uh, this is an expensive watch. Which, you know, you can get these watches uh, right now that Lupa was, was it, a little over 300, like 350 bucks or something like that. Um, but these watches aren't cheap for somebody like on my budget. So when I do, if I had bought this, you know, like that would have drove me crazy. That, you know, if I would have bought it, I actually traded for this watch. Uh, so I didn't have to come out of pocket for it. So my final verdict, I think overall... It's a dope watch. I really like it. Um, comfort level is decent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's a bigger watch, 50 millimeters, so it has a lot of presence on the, on your wrist. You know, um, the dimensions, man, like, they don't bother me. You know, this is something that I, I, I was seeking. And for those of you guys that may be wondering how can I get a hold of this watch, the only way you'll find this watch is through a eBay seller if they're, you know, selling. So they're they're ranging anywhere from three fifty to six hundred dollars, right? Somewhere between that lines. Um, there are some people, you know, that have these that have the originals, you know. And, and again, I have to research this a little more to see if this is an original. Sometimes it's hard. That's one of the things that drives me crazy. It's so hard to find out the heritage of or the the origin. Of some of the pieces that Invicta makes because it's like <laughs> once they make it, it's like a secret after that. It's like you have to be a part of the family or something like that uh, to know what's going on uh, with this. Or at least going down to their facility down in Florida and like flipping through that book that they have just to see the heritage of some of these pieces. Um, but my overall take, I like it. It actually, you know, when I saw it, the presence, it hit me just like I thought it would. Uh but the one thing it did do was is pushing me towards hunting for the pro diver, the original pro diver heritage piece, which isn't silver. It's black. It's actually black. And um, that one has an R150 in it, if I'm not mistaken. And, I, I'm, you know, that's Swiss timepiece. It don't matter. I just I just like the engine in it. Um it's not the biggest deal. It's just, the, you know, like the, the hunt. You know, once you find something out about a watch, it's like you want to cure that itch. So, um, yeah, my overall take, man, if I had to get this a flame, <laughs> I will definitely give this thing a five flame. It is worth your time. If you can find one, don't pay too much for it. Um, again, like I said, I've seen them as low as $350 on eBay, but as much as low over $600. I wouldn't pay $600 for this. There are other pieces that utilize the uh, Salida movement. There's actually, I will tell you if somebody's like, hey, 600 there's actually micro brands that have the Salida movement for less than $600. That are phenomenal pieces, but we'll talk about that in a later show. So, family, thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you guys down in the comment sections, man. Thank you for being here for this premiere. I absolutely love collecting watches. I love interacting with you guys. Um, so, if you have any additional information, history about this watch, because I'm not the guru of it. I just like collecting watches. I like how they look and feel on my wrist and all that makes me feel special. You feel what I'm saying? So, but if you have any uh, added information or valuable information, please leave it down in the comment. If you're catching this on replay, you already know what to do, man. So, y'all ready for some pictures? Got you, man. Tommy Big Time style. You feel me? Big Time Gang family. Thank you so much, man. You guys have a blessed one.
Watch face so fat the band had stretch marks. It shines so bright that you can see it from Mars. Man, he blinded me, reflecting headlights from the cars. He's got to be a rapper, baller, or a movie star. But nah, he's too humble to be all of the above. So he said, My name is Trap. Oh, cause you bees in the trap. Nah, it ain't even like that. And he tilted his bull's cap. Introduced me to his wife, and she had one too. Wrist game so cold that she could build it glues out of nothing. They legit, they even bless their kids. Man, when they all send in the road, they look like poison.